with Genshin Impact patch 4.5 finally on its way out, it's high time we talked about what this dry, dry patch consisted of. You know, what players were supposed to cope with for six fucking weeks. Now we already knew this update was going to be the most lackluster dog shit we have seen in a while, but we did probably not know it was gonna be this bad. As if a YouTube video is gonna do anything about it. Shut the hell up, brother. I know it's not gonna do anything about it, but at least we'll have the opportunity to vent. Let's just start with the newest character, Chiori. A 5-star Geo character. Hmm, it feels like we just got one a few patches ago. In fact, it's literally two patches ago in 4.3, but we got Navia, the other 5-star Geo character. Geo characters being the way they are, boring as fuck being the element with the only meaningless reaction, making synergy go out the window, already starts her off with quite the handicap. Not to mention her playstyle is literally just a geo version of Kaching, where you can teleport into the air and slam down, summoning a weak little puppet to fight with her, and then having this boring slash as her ultimate. Looks like all Hoyovers can do is recycle nowadays. It is quite a shame because her design is actually really cool and elegant. Even if her personality is just as boring as her element, they also lock a good portion of her kit behind C1, which is a real scummy move. Good job, Hoyoverse. You did it again. Real corporate pieces of shit, aren't ya? And as I said before, Navia, another 5-star Geo character, having released just a few patches before having a better design, a better kit, everything about her being better, has probably not helped her sales in the slightest. Especially when the other banners have actual amazing characters, amazing designs, and actually can be used in multiple fucking teams and not with some boring mono geo team. Which, let's be honest, you're gonna get bored of fast. So as it stands, barely anyone would actually want to pull on her. I'll be honest, I don't give a damn about these stupid ass story quests for unimportant characters like fucking Chiori. And especially not for hangout events for 4 star characters like who gives a fuck bro. Go play an actual dating simulator because this is not it chief. With all that out of the way, let's see what the rest of the patch has to offer. Ah yes, the weapon banner. Moving on to the main event. The events. The main event of the events. Alchemical Ascension. If this big event doesn't save the patch, nothing will. What are you talking about, man? Hoyovers are definitely competent enough to make an event that will actually last us the entire patch. That will actually be fun. That will actually be created. Wait, that's it? There's gotta be more. There's no way it's just some fucking puzzle game, man. There's no way. It's gotta be more. There has to be more. Holy shit, we have Gordon in just like Stardew Valley. I definitely not want to much rather play that game instead of playing this dog shit. I definitely still want to play Genshin in the meantime. I'm totally not addicted to shitty mobile games and it's not really gardening, it's just planting shit and then having that shit pop out just like how you do it in the teapot. Difference being time goes by as you play and then you use those plants to basically fill up your box. I guess. And depending on the attributes of the plants you place in the box, you'll get different potions. To just sell on the market like you're playing fucking Heyday. And while you're doing all that, Lisa just sits there and does nothing while making you work like her little puppy. Sucks to suck, doesn't it, Traveler? Aside from that, all you could do is basically upgrade your garden, your potion making, and your market, I guess. And that's basically it. You just do all that, then move on to the next day, where everything is reset and you can do it all again. That whole system of pressing next day until you get to your income goal is totally not repetitive and boring as fuck. Especially not because we've already had this event multiple times before. You know, where you do your work and then you end the day to only do the exact same thing tomorrow until you reach your income. Yeah, that definitely didn't get boring fast. Yeah, that's the good design, man. Totally not another example of Hoyoverse being really fucking lazy. 
You do know that they're a multi-billion dollar company, right guys? Other than that, Sucrose comes in giving you a potion exam, which is I guess the only hard part in this entire event. This is the Genshin Endgame, guys. This is this this is what you ask for, isn't it? And last but not least, we have the story. Random ass characters coming in from random ass regions, talking in the way you'd expect them to. In their Mickey Mouse type of interactions, it's really wholesome and fun, guys. I'm so excited every time I see the look for the 100th time. It's totally not a complete waste of time and makes me want to spam the spacebar until it finally ends. Yeah man, I definitely still get enjoyment from all these boring dialogues they put in front of me. Too bad there's no skip button, right guys? Slimy little Hoyoverse loves that playtime. And you know, these characters come in and they ask you for potions and they wait there for the entire day. If you can't deliver them their potion, they go away all disappointed and then they come back two days later to only go away again and then come back two days later like it's just an infinite fucking cycle bro they don't care if you never make them their potion they will come back and they will wait for that shit until you finally give it to them it's just disrespectful man it does get rather annoying, especially if you don't know how to actually make their potion. If you really want that potion so bad, then why don't you fucking shove it up your ass, Diluc? I wish we could just poison it and then have them never come back here again. Anyways, with all that in mind, the community was rather mixed on how good this event was. Some people loved it, while others like me thought it was complete garbage, trash. It's quite lackluster for something that's supposed to be the main event of this patch. So if you did love this event, I gotta say, I respect you. You must be someone that loves vanilla ice cream, and you should definitely be the only motherfucker getting praise. Hey, for the reward, at least they gave you a spear, which is literally only useful on Yao Yao and uh, Chevros, but uh, yeah, the slime was really excited about it at least. Good for him, man. I don't spend money. Bottom line is this event is dog shit and felt like a complete waste of time. Man, why did you shit on this event, man? This was my favorite event. Why, why are you shitting on? Now I gotta send all the mint pickers after you. I guess so. I rate this magnificent event a better than nothing out of 10. Moving on to the Great Phase Reaction Debate event. What a mouthful. Another one of those lame ass combat events, but there's a twist. This time, you get to use their characters in teams of two. Isn't that very interesting? And they're also bringing back the ability to snapshot enemies. To, you know, one-shot them. It's, it's really fun, you know, freezing time and just killing enemies. Yeah, that's that takes a lot of skill. It's the true endgame that we needed all along. There's not much else to say. It's just some other boring rerun event. There's nothing new here. Besides the fact that they literally limited your characters. As if that's gonna increase enjoyment where the game is actually built around four fucking characters, bro. Like, what do you expect me to say? Yay, I'm so happy. I don't have to play with four characters anymore. I can just play with whatever Hoyoverse gives me. Maybe they're now thinking choice itself gives us anxiety. Maybe that's why they love giving us handicaps treating us like retards. Why give you any choice at all if all it's gonna produce is anxiety? When you think about it from that perspective, it makes a lot of sense. I can't believe we finally came to that conclusion, holy shit! Gotta give ourselves a pat on the back for that one guys. Truly some 200 IQ logic there. I give this one a brain rot out of 10. On to rolling crossfire. We once again go into the portal, however, you know this event is gonna be absolutely insane because instead of one NPC by the portal, there are now two. Holy shit! It's gotta be good guys, it's gotta be the best event ever for them to put another NPC. That must have cost them so many resources. You ungrateful little idiots should send them an apology letter and tell them how much you appreciate their effort. Anyways, the actual event is just literally shooting slimes where you also have some elemental reactions, I guess. Yeah, because the event would literally be nothing without them. Funnily enough though, you also get a power-up that completely removes the importance of elemental reactions as well, one-shotting all the enemies. Magnificent game design, if I do say so myself. But hey, at least compared to the other shit we got, this one has got some creativity in it. At least I don't think it's a rerun of another event. Aside from having two modes where slimes either stay still or they move towards you. Ew. Creepy. 
There are different layouts, different power-ups and different names for elemental reactions. Yeah, the naming scheme must have been the toughest part. I can I can believe that. All around just a fun little mini game with high budget NPCs outside waiting for you until you complete the challenge. Then they might suck your d- Anyways, I give this one an effort out of 10 because there's actual effort and it's not just a we run piece of shit like the rest of them. Lastly, we have... No. No. cannot be serious calling this garbage a fucking event. What the fuck is going on in that head of yours, Sai? After all these fucking years, you still think Leyland Overflow 2 times XP and Mora is a fucking event? You actually have the nerve to call this dog shit, to call a literal on and off switch a fucking event. I guess it's fine, you know, these all these Genshin Impact players just think of mediocrity. They accept everything. They eat all the shit you throw at them anyways. They don't fucking care. In fact, they're probably out there farming XP books and Mora they don't fucking need. And honestly, if you gave them this event every weekend, they'd probably start calling you a saint. Because the Genshin Impact community truly is one of the communities of all time. The most wholesome and grateful community on planet Earth. Imagine a country only filled with Genshin Impact players. I would be rather curious in knowing how long life would last until it came a fucking anarchy. Why are you not addressing the Genshin situation? I got three intertwined fates! I got three intertwined fates! Come on, help me out, Envy! Help. There's bigger shit going on in the fucking world than three fucking fates, alright? Oh shit, we also got cats. Well, guys, I, I was too ungrateful. I didn't see the cats. I guess you can pet them. Make some decorations and shit. And you can feed them to make them come for you. So that you may pet them in all their favorite spots until their love meter goes up. I'll be honest though, I didn't feel like logging in for this quote unquote event. If anything, it should all be a fucking feature in your teapot. Why do I have to wait for Hoyoverse to give me permission to pet my fucking cat? Really can't say I'm surprised they do this shit though. Especially because as long as we give them money, it's their green light to continue doing the same shit they've been doing so far. I should be the only motherfucker getting praise in the Genshin community because I don't spend money on Genshin Impact. If you want a company like Choreoverse to actually listen to you and let you and have and listen to your fucking concerns on what you want with the game, quit spending money on the fucking game. I don't spend money. I am free to play for three plus years. Why am I getting people trying to come after me when I haven't spent a fucking dime on my account? Reach my brother. If only the rest of the Genshin community actually had some brains they could use. I give this one a pussy out of 10. And with that, we basically covered everything Genshin Impact players had to cope with for an entire 6 weeks. And having said that, I'm really glad I did, because what the fuck were they thinking? Giving us next to nothing. You're a multi-billion dollar company, Hoyoverse. Stop acting like you're fucking poor, like you don't have the resources to actually make a good update. You're wrong! Hey, what about the TCG update, man? Why didn't you mention it? They brought a whole four new characters to us. Stop being so ungrateful. Just imagine the amount of new decks you can make with those. I mean, it's not like 99% of the player base doesn't give a fuck about the TCG, but whatever. I should have covered it, sorry. You know, maybe one day videos like these actually reach them and we get some actual fucking change. You are a fool if you think they're gonna listen to your fucking complaint. Let's hope that 4.0 6 doesn't disappoint though because if it does ooh the wait will have been for nothing and well let's just say google classroom might not be around anymore as if one star in google classroom is gonna do anything about it this shit's never gonna get old only quality content here folks subscribe please